Hey guys, it's us again. We're coming at you with another video. This is finally the husband tag video, and it's kind of like a wife tag video too, because I'm going to answer questions also. You know, the same questions I ask Michael. So, um, say hi, Michael. Hi. He's just so thrilled. For those of you who want, don't know why he doesn't show up in more of the videos, he just, it's just not his thing, but he'll do it for me every once in a while. So I actually was able to get him to do this video, so let's... Let's just get into it before he changes his mind. Yeah. Okay. Question number one. Now, I you know what the husband tag is. So I explain this to you. You just have to answer questions. Yep. Okay. Honestly. As honest as I can. Okay. Here we go. First question. Where did we meet? In school. Really? Yeah, we met in school. What I was hoping he was going to say, because technically... Was that a pool? Yeah, because that's... Where did we meet kind of like is pertaining to where did we meet... When it first started Exactly, like when we first started our whole thing, yeah, not right. when we first saw each other. I mean, it was at a pool when I was uh, depressed about another girl. That's, that's where we met. <laughs> that is true. But we did meet in school before then. We were friends. I wouldn't say friends. We were we more were like acquaintances, acquaintances, kind of. Like back in school and like the crazy thing is I always tell people we never looked at each other that way when we were like we knew it's more of like we knew of each other we weren't really like I never had his cell phone number he never had mine mm -hmm. um but we never thought of each other romantically we just knew of each other yep crazy stuff happens it really does all right <clears throat> so where was our first date uh we went to see a movie so at a movie theater. <laughs> at a movie theater. We went, saw, we went and saw Don't Mess With the Zohan. It was a very stupid movie. It's an it Adam was. Sandler movie, and I don't... Don't uh, don't say anything bad about Adam Sandler. I mean, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Adam Sandler. It wasn't one of his best movies. Yeah, I just I don't, honestly don't even remember what the movie was about. Um, and that's not because we were doing anything during the movie. That's just genuinely because the movie sucked. <laughs> Moving um, on. But it was a, that was our very, very first official date. Yes. Where was our first kiss? Uh, don't be shy, darling. I'm not shy. I just I don't know if I remember. Oh, are um, you serious? You don't remember <laughs> where we had our first kiss? I think it was in your car. Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you guys because I obviously, being a girl, know all these things more uh, than he does. I feel a little bad. Yeah, you should feel bad. <laughs> I'll refresh your memory, okay? Okay. Our very first kiss was on the front porch of my house. This was, um, this I was like, like... our first hug. Oh, the hug was in your garage. Yeah. Okay, I remember now. Yep. And yep. it was really awkward because... She told me not to grab her fat. Yeah, because he was, like, grabbing my waist. <laughs> and it was, I, it caught me so off guard that he was oh, going to yeah. try to kiss me. And it was, like, slow motion. I just remember it was slow motion. And he was coming in. And I was just, like, my eyes are wide open. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, this is actually happening right now. And yeah. I just, I felt so awkward. And I just was like, don't grab my fat. Yeah, I remember that one. That's funny. Yeah, and I actually <laughs> thought I was fat back then. That's the even funnier thing. I'm fat now. Yeah, she wasn't <laughs> I fat. wasn't fat. Oh, boy. Okay. So, next question. How did you know that I was the one? Um. While you think about it, I'll answer first. Okay. I'll go. <laughs> How did I know that Michael was the one? I knew Michael was the one because... Um, his passion. He had a lot of passion. He's not like that guy that just like is over emotional and like, you know, wants to talk about his feelings all the time. So, you know, like when he actually does it, it means something or something. It's, it's, you know, he's not making it up. He's being real about it. And he was very passionate about, you know, um, just me. He just, he cared a lot about me. He wanted to know more about me, even when we were just friends, you know, even my own girlfriends at the time didn't ask, you know, questions about my past or wanting to get to know me to that level. And he actually did those things. He actually uh, showed that he cared a lot more than he just talked about how he cared. So um, I guess that was something that made me feel like he was the one. The one. The one. Um, Your turn, darling. Yeah. I don't know if mine's quite like that. Um, <laughs> That's okay. It was just. It was just more for me. Just uh, knowing that how like you had treated me and talked to me and been with me and just were kind of there for me and understood to just and then 
obviously with talks we have, you know, private talks that aren't, like, on YouTube. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just knowing that you'd be there for me and that I just, I just, I felt the kind of comfortability with you that I'd never felt before. And it, it was just really nice to have that. Oh, sweet, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, YouTube. So now we can are. take this... <laughs> Now we can take this like as far back, even if we, even when we were acquaintances, because I know we had um, first impressions of each other. So the next question: mm -hmm. What was your first impression of me? Uh, if you can remember, I mean, even if, if it's not the very first time, because I don't remember the very first time we saw. Each I don't other. remember the first time I met you either. Um, I <laughs> the first like real memory I have of you is you were just. <sighs> Alright, how do I say this without being bad on the internet with the whole millions of people viewing, which millions <laughs> of people don't view, but anyways. Just be honest. Um, I just, I remember that where we went to school, there wasn't a lot of black girls that were uh, put together very well, um, because just where we are and whatnot, so I don't. Mean I'll that. say it because you know, yeah. I don't mind saying it. I don't mean that in a generalization or. He's anything not like that, mean. So. This is <laughs> not coming from Michael. This is coming from his wife. He means that he there were not a lot of black girls who weren't ghetto. Okay, <laughs> and I know what ghetto is. We all know what ghetto is. Okay? So she just stood out. Like I said, at that time, I didn't like her like that or anything. It wasn't like that because I was at a different point in my life, and whatnot. But I just remember when I first met her. She stood out because she wasn't like that. Which, I'm not saying is a bad thing. I'm just saying you stand out when you're different. And that was what made her different. And I think also, too, according to that, because the school we went to was huge, first of all. It was huge. And I, it, it is a predominantly white school where we lived. And, uh, you know, the school, just the, the whole um, demographic of the place of where we grew, not grew up, but where we live. It's just like that. So... The select few of African American girls we did have at the school just fit into that stereotype, and it's not um, anything judging towards those people. It's just you know we have a stereotype for being loud and mean and kind of scary a little bit, honestly, and unapproachable. I guess is the best way to put it. It's just very um, strong personality, and I, I guess that doesn't really sound good for me because it makes me sound like I don't have a strong personality. But I guess I'm I wasn't just on that level, you know. Is I guess I, maybe I was just more approachable or nice. I don't I don't know. Uh, no, it wasn't that. It's just like I said. She just she just acted like like if I like like anybody if they act different than what you expect or not what you expect that's wrong. I don't want to say that. But when when you're just different, like. You stand out. I mean, that's true. You're not. <laughs> you don't fit into the stereotype, and it's not just to say black girls have stereotypes. Even white, yeah, white guys yeah. have stereotypes. You know, at the school there was, you know, the popular kids, the, the the jocks and stuff. When somebody surprises you by being something different than what you expected, because we. All, if all the white people around you are wearing polos, and then you have the one white guy walking around with a tank top and like baggy pants, you know that kid will stand out. It's exactly. not saying it's a bad thing. It's exactly. Just, exactly. That's. What, what it is, they stand out. We just wanted to clarify that. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to offend anybody. No, definitely not trying to offend anybody. We definitely aren't that those people. Um, okay, so I'll say uh, my first impression of you. My first impression of Michael, I don't remember the exact time I first met Michael, but back when we were in high school, like I said before, like even before we had thought of each other romantically, which came years down the line, um, to me, Michael was that he was just really... He was that cool guy that you felt the need that you felt like you wanted to hang out with him and like get to know him, but he wasn't. How's the best way to put this? He was that cool guy, but he wasn't the one that was all for hanging out in a huge group of people and wanting to be in everybody's face. He had like a like a select few of friends that he hung out with all the time, and it just so happened that his personality and just how he was, a lot of people knew him. I mean, people still come up to him and are like, Mike, oh my God, how are you? It's been forever. And Michael's like, oh yeah, man, it's cool. And as soon as they walk away, he's like, I have no idea who it is. <laughs> I, I don't. don't even remember that I person. Don't. Like, I don't. Or people would be like, oh yeah, we had that one class together. You remember? I don't know you, really. I, I don't. But That's because of my eyes. I don't remember people because of their faces. I only remember by like, their voices and stuff like that. So if you haven't been like heard someone's voice in a long time, then... 
he, he's just not going kind of to recognize it's not going to click. Nothing offensive to those people. I mean, it's not no. like he's trying or he's just like, oh, I'm just, I just never really cared about you. It's just, it's hard to keep track of all these people, especially if it's harder for you to recognize them. Right. So, all right. Moving on to more fun stuff. Please. <laughs> Please. What's my favorite sports team? The Packers. The Packers. <laughs> I know I've talked about this in a video before, but, um, you know, it's my favorite sports team also. Oh, wait, that was answered about, never mind. Anyway, his favorite sports team is the Packers also. Obviously. He's been a Packers fan ever since he was born. born. He was born into Packer fandom. Um, he's originally from Wisconsin. Actually, that's a question on here. Where am I from? He's originally from Wisconsin. She's from New Jersey. So, uh... Naturally, he. When we started dating, I told Thank him. Thank God she's not a Giants fan, though. Oof, yeah, I didn't like football like that. Like I didn't like professional. I like I could or watch it if it was fan. alive. That's even worse. But I can't watch <laughs> like football on TV. But his passion for the Packers transferred over to me, and so, you know. Very passionate about the Packers. Uh, especially when Packer in general. If you're watching this, Clay Matthews, I love you. And if Aaron Rodgers is watching this, Please he loves you too. <laughs> send us something. Get like send us an autograph, Aaron Rodgers or Clay Matthews. Huge, huge fans. fans. He has Aaron's jersey. I have Clay Matthews' jersey. It would like mean the world to us if we got something signed by you, you have guys. No so idea. Really I think would. I would probably pass out. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> moving on. That's our own little nerdy, you know, thing we have going on. But I'm sure people have. I'm sure people, they there's are... people get emails all the time and. YouTube well, this messages. is not an email, okay? Or messages <laughs> or whatever. All right. What could I spend hours doing? Talking. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, Funny, Michael. Uh, uh, what could you spend hours doing? You could spend hours doing... You could watch TV for hours. Like, she loves watching, like... Crime shows and oh, yeah, that is true. like cooking shows and like animal shows. <laughs> she she likes to shop, but she hasn't been shopping in a while because with pregnancy, it's not the easiest thing to shop for long periods of time. Um, those are the things that I would say that you could probably do for an hours, for for multiple hours. Multiple hours. I agree with that. I agree with that. So now you have to answer that for me, right? Oh, I already know what I'm going to say. I thought about... I already knew the answer when I found this, when I saw this question. What's the... What's the answer? Something Michael can do for hours. Something he has been doing <sighs> for hours. For the past couple of weeks. Ladies, if your man is into video games, oh my goodness, I don't understand it. Madden? I don't understand how somebody can play so much Madden football. I mean, this kid will stay up until 3 o'clock in the morning. This kid? Yes. Because that's what kids do. They play video games till 3 o'clock in the morning, even though they have to wake up at 7 to go to work. <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning playing Madden video games, okay? And I'm he's, just, like, into I'm, it. I'm just preparing myself for the baby, and I treat Madden like a baby then. Yeah, I don't think so. You must be doing a really good job then. Because I will come out in really the morning, good. and he will have on the table this paper set okay, up we don't, for his no, draft. No, we don't need to tell... Because he's writing out for a video game. I guess I'm just, I don't understand it. It just might be one of those male things that I just don't understand. Um, but, yeah, that uh, is something you could spend hours doing. And uh, what is something else you could spend hours doing? You could probably spend hours watching TV, but I don't think you would, I don't think you would spend the whole day watching TV. I definitely say you could, he could spend the whole day playing video games. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. All the time. Um, what's one unique talent that I have? You're very artsy, like, like you're a uh, yeah, very very artsy. Um, I would say that's unique because not a lot of people can act. Well, a lot of the people say they are, but not a lot of people can do what you do. So that's artsy. She has a lot of cool drawings and a lot of cool little paintings that she's done. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, unique talent. That's one. Um, I mean, it's probably not unique to a lot of girls or anybody. I guess that likes to cook out there, but. For me, it's unique because I don't know how to do any of that stuff. But she can cook without reading, like, any instructions <laughs> or, like, measuring anything. So, to me, that's unique because I don't, I wouldn't, I would end up making, I'd be trying to make, like, some kind of meat. And then I'd 
end up turning it into like a like a like a soup because I'd add too much <laughs> liquid or something. I don't know. Cause you're but cute. I think that's unique. Um, yeah, I can leave it at that. Okay. And, well, and her art, uh, her 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 like, clothing attire. Like before she got pregnant, when she gets to like wear all her clothes, she wears like a lot of cool outfits, and she can put things together that you you wouldn't imagine, like not imagine, but that you couldn't, like I couldn't imagine doing. So. I guess that's kind of unique to me. Again, probably not unique to everybody out there that can do that too, but when you're with someone that can do something that you can't do, then that's unique. So That was really sweet, honey. I didn't know. <laughs> that was really sweet. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, what's one unique talent that you have? Let's see. I don't know. I don't have too many. You do, actually. You have a few. One that comes to mind, and I don't know if this is just, I mean, if other people have to deal with the same thing, um, then you obviously can relate. But majority of people don't really have to deal with this. Because of uh, it's harder for Michael to see things, the, the way he is able to just function in day-to-day -day life, like, it's amazing to me. Because he can do things that other people can't do. Uh, it's just, you know, when, when one sense is dulled, all your other senses are sharpened. So it's like, he can hear things that I'm like, oh my god, how did you even hear that? Like, if I'm picking at something, he will pause the TV, turn around, look at me, and be like, what are you picking at? And I'm like, oh my god, like, how did you even know that I was doing something? And he was like, I guess I can just hear it. I can just hear it. I can hear you picking. <laughs> so it's just, it's just one of those things. And like... And I could feel... His sense of feel. Like, he can walk on the carpet... I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've seen him, like, walk and he'll stop and then go down and, like, touch the carpet and find something. And it'll be so small. You're like, how on earth did you feel that? It just happens. Like, it's, and all of his sensors just, just strengthen to the ninth degree. Like, it's just, to me, I think that's really unique. And I know that's something that just comes, like, you've been either taught or you've know, adapted to, to it, yeah. but I it's, just think that's awesome. It doesn't feel weird to me because I like, said it's just how I am now. Yeah. That's just how you've always been. So. It just gets stronger and stronger as time goes. You just I don't I mean, know about that. I mean, oh. but it it just like I said, it's just normal to me. It's just who I am. So it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything out of the ordinary. So I guess so. And um, another unique talent I wanted to share really quickly, and I was actually thinking about this today. You are extremely smart. He is really smart. He's extremely good at math. Like, I, he can do, like, these, like, ridiculous math problems in his head. I mean, I've seen him just do, like, numbers and, like, decimals. And, like, it just, I'm horrible at math. So, to me, it blows my, I have to have a piece of paper and a pen. I have to write it down. I have to, like, It's probably like one of those things it. I was saying. It's unique to her because she can't do it, but it's, I yeah, I mean, if there's other people out there like that, kudos to you, because I think that's amazing. <laughs> but it's like, I th it, to me, it makes me feel like I'm married to a genius, because I can throw out, like, a number combination, give him, like, two seconds, and he has an answer. And it's going to be right. Now, that's insane. Now, people are going to want a little test, because they're not going to believe it. So don't make it too hard or I'll get it wrong. <laughs> I mean... But challenge me a little bit. 32 times 240. 240? Mm -hmm. Like 240 or 2.4? 2 240. So 32 times 240. That's 600 at 720. And then the 2 times 240. So 700. Oh, 30 though. Ooh, wow. You did, this is challenging. <laughs> Come on. Man. You're supposed to make it easy. All right. <sighs> this is how I do it, everybody. I do the 3 times 240, which would be uh, 720. Then I add the 0 from the 30. So that'd be 7,200, and then I do the 2 times 240, which is 480. So then I go 7,200 um, plus um, 200, 420, uh, 480. So then that'd be 7,680. So, I don't have a calculator, so I'm not going to check it. But I really guys, hope I'm right, or I feel like a really big <laughs> idiot on the internet. You guys can check it and let me know in the comments box, because I totally got lost through everything he just said just so now. 30 times 240 is 7,200. And then the 2 times 240 is 480. Add that to that, so 7,680. Let's hope I'm right. I'll check it when I get off here, <laughs> just because I'm curious. Seven, whatever you said. 7,680. There it is. We'll see. <laughs> um, okay, next question. You bake a cake for my birthday. What kind is it? Strawberry. That's 
perfect. Okay. His, <laughs> his would be chocolate. We have to hurry. This is almost 20 minutes long. Oh, all right. <laughs> Next. Okay. Where am I from? We already answered that question. New Jersey, Wisconsin. Sitting in front of the TV, what am I watching? Uh, kind of already answered that one, too. A cooking show, an animal show, or a crime show. And me, I'm watching sports. If she, and she would have known that, trust me. Yeah, he's most likely going to be watching ESPN. Um, going out, we're going out to eat, what am I, what did I order to drink? Water with lemon or a virgin strawberry daiquiri. With whipped cream. With whipped cream. They already come mm. with whipped cream. Well, whatever. And if we went out to eat, nine times out of ten, he's going to opt for root beer first, Dr. Pepper, cherry coke. Pretty much. That's what I'd say. One of them three. What is something I am most... Oh, no, no, wait. I had... I actually came up with my own question. What's my favorite song currently? Uh, wow, that felt hurts. Um, I think... I mean, I don't know if this is it, so forgive me if I'm wrong. I'll tell you. Is it right. that Hunter Hayes song, like, The Wanted? Uh, I think it's just called Wanted, but yes. Right. Actually, I don't really like saying favorite, but I mean, that's the only thing I could come up with for a question, but I do like a, a variety of songs. But it is a really good song. If you haven't heard it, you should listen to it. It's very sweet. Um, what is something... Well, now you have to Oh, 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 oh right, 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 right. Your favorite song. Good luck, because I don't even know my own favorite song. Um, <laughs> he's been listening. He actually just bought an Imagine Dragons CD. That would probably be And it was that song, Demons. Demons, yes. You said you really like that that's song. That's probably so. my favorite song right now, yes. Yay. Okay, last question. What is something I am most excited about becoming a parent? That you are most excited about? Mm -hmm. Ah, just to have someone that's going to always love you and that you can always love, even though that's me, but, you know, having, I guess, a child. I think that's, because you say that a lot, so, Maya, uh, I think that would be it. Okay. In my, in I, my I, I, I agree with that. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, there's multiple things that you can be excited about, but... Now, what am I most excited about? What are you most excited about? I think you're most excited about... There's one thing. One particular... Doing one thing. Providing for your daughter? No. No. Holding her. Oh, I was so going to say that. That was my gut. And I was like, do I really think Michael would take that? And I was like, oh, I don't know. It matters a lot to be able to provide for you and the baby, but the, like the thing you look forward to... I don't have to look forward to providing because i got to do that the rest of my life. So, That's But true. the first time I get to hold her, it's going to be nice. I definitely think that's going to be exciting, too. So. I'd have to say that that also is something very exciting to look forward to for any new parent or any parent in general. You look forward to holding this amazing little being that you created that's been living inside the mom for nine months. And now she's finally out and you can hold her. Yeah. So, that's exciting. Okay, so sorry that this video took so long, but it was a lot of fun to make it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's like 22 minutes right now. That's insane. I got better hurry up and uh, hit that button. I there. will. All right, guys. <laughs> well... Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, oh, and um, we'll just, you know, wait until the next time Michael gets to grace us with his presence. Yeah. Because we, we always enjoy having you. Till next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.